Rob Butler. Number one, please, Mr Speaker. Secretary of State. Mr Speaker, we are working closely with the NHS, with social care and local authorities to significantly reduce delayed discharge and free up beds for those that need them most. We are making full use of non-acute beds, and, including in hospices and other community beds and the independent sector. To drive further progress and support regional and local systems, I have also established a new national task force last month to help deliver best practice. Rob Buff. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I thank my right honourable friend for his answer. Many people would like to leave hospital when their treatment is completed, but they are not quite well enough to cope alone at home. And that is obviously frustrating for them because they want their independence, creates problems for hospitals which need the beds, and it costs the taxpayer unnecessary money. So does my right honourable friend agree with me that the development of a strategy to provide intermediate care to support discharge would help alleviate pressure on both the NHS and the social care sector? Thursday. I do agree with my honourable friend, uh, Mr Speaker, and, and that is why, as part of our continued response to the COVID-19 pandemic, on the 2nd of December last year, the NHS England they asked local systems to consider ways to increase patient flow out of acute hospital settings. And this has included surge capacity in care homes, identifying unused the hospice capacity, and repurposing, in some cases, hotel accommodation where appropriate. NHS England is reporting to me on this uh, regularly, and it is something that we will very closely monitor progress on.